headlines on BBC News 24. It's 8 o'clock. Back in the running, Dwayne Chambers wins a place on the British athletics team despite his drugs ban and the efforts of the sports governing body. If Dwayne is back as a committed athlete for good, that's one thing. If he's just using this as, as a means for personal publicity, then I would be concerned. Another jump in the cost of living. Rising fuel and food prices are blamed as inflation rises to 2.2%. The man on trial for the Suffolk murders says he can't explain how his DNA and clothing fibres were found on two of the victims' bodies. Also coming up tonight, it's beautiful, remote and home to some of Britain's rarest birds. But campaigners say the pristine environment around the Isle of Lewis could be ruined by a planned giant wind farm. Experts say they've developed a revolutionary system to stop cars crashing at low speeds. And a daring cliff rescue operation saves a couple whose car plunged 20 metres to land on rocks in Cornwall. Hello, good evening. Now, he is banned from running in the Olympics because of a drugs offence. But the sprinter, Dwayne Chambers, has been told he has been selected for the British squad for the World Indoor Championships. That's despite the fact that UK athletics don't want him there. The sports governing body was forced to select him under its own rules because Chambers won his qualifying heat. But tonight, the double Olympic champion, Dame Kelly Holmes, said it was wrong to allow a cheat to represent Great Britain.